Hello, I'm Susanna Salk. Welcome to my home. I'm really excited to show you around, so come on inside. We fell in love with this house because of its location. It is surrounded by a beautiful lake, hills, mountains, the light is incredible. When we saw this property, we thought, this is perfect. We'll fix up this tiny little house and we'll flip it for somebody else. And then gradually we started spending more and more time here, first the summers, then the fall and winter, and we fell in love with it and we knew we wanted to stay. This decor is the best of all worlds. It's a little bit modern, it's a little bit traditional with quirks, which is my favorite thing. Always having a little bit of surprise everywhere and it's all in the details. What I love to do is mix in what I call lucky finds. For example, I found this amazing red bar that has so much personality downtown in this quirky little antique store for a song and it somehow perfectly fit underneath this crazy window space that I didn't quite know what to do with. And then opposite, I paired in this invaluable ottoman, stowaway ottoman that has great storage inside of it that I had recovered with a fabric years ago that I found online at Ballard Designs that's come with me to every house I've had over the past 20 years. And together, the two looked perfect. The entry hall is one of the most important rooms of the house and it's my favorite and it's often overlooked. People just throw their junk in there and it's actually the first thing your visitors and you see every day when you come and go. It's really like your calling card so it really should feel special as well as functional. Every entry hall should have mirrors in some way, whether you're checking your lipstick before you leave or to give a sense of glamour to the space. I love these Ballard Design mirrors because they are so glamorous and they go beyond just reflecting an image. They look like artwork in themselves. They're jazzy. Um, I love doing two rows of them. I think there's powers in multiples. It itself feels like a collection. So I got six of them and just hung them all along that wall and it just brings it to life. For me, a kitchen was something that wasn't all country, even though we were in the country, and I didn't want all modern. I wanted to combine those two elements because I think it's the rough and the smooth where it really feels cozy and delicious. I put in these great dining room chairs. They've been with my husband's family for years. I've constantly recovered them wherever I've lived. I love this orange kind of pop toile that I put on them, and I paired them with the invaluable Bauer Design white garden stool. I use these to sit on with extra guests. I use them as end tables to put the Sunday paper on. I love the uh, parallel of the two sides and how that kind of give, it softens the room really, and it makes it feel like you just wanna pull up and sit there. From the kitchen, you can look right into our entry hall, entry hall. We use it a million times a day. It gets so much traffic between children and animals. I really wanted it to be functional, but I also wanted it to be fun because you see it from this room. Everyone thought I was crazy, but I wanted to make it feel like its own special space. My husband had down a very practical long doormat. Uh, to go over the stone floor, which depressed me every time I entered the house. I think it's important to feel good when you come in and out of your house. And so I found this great runner rug at Ballard Designs that has so much personality to it. It's so durable. It's kind of an indoor outdoor rug. And I think it's perfect to put down in an entry hall or a mudroom that you want to zip up. And then we constantly have, no matter what the season or sport, hockey sticks, lacrosse sticks, umbrella, walking sticks. And instead of just putting them in a boring basket, I got this great Ballard Design garden urn, which looks very, very heavy, like it would weigh a ton, but it's very lightweight. And that kind of is a fun surprise element, which every room should have, no matter how small. And just around the corner is our guest bathroom, which to me is one of the most used rooms in the house. And people often forget about it, that everybody goes in there. It should really be a fabulous place. And to make ours look that much more fabulous, I put in Suzanne Kassler's Atelier Antlers. I really wanted to bring a sense of whimsy to a kind of boring wall. My husband really didn't want it at first. I think he thought I was a little crazy when he saw the little antlers. But then as soon as we put the white on the white wall, it looked so special and fabulous and everybody loves it. And it really brings a sense of fun and liveliness to otherwise kind of a boring space. 
In your home office, it's all about the desk and the chair, and you don't want to go to corporate or it will stand out, it will look boring. It's in your home. You want it to be inventive and have a lot of personality. Where better than this chair from Ballard Designs? I actually saw it at a shoot. I had covered this very traditional shape with this really fun medallion fabric and a different stripe fabric on the seat. The combination of all three looks fabulous to me. It makes me happy every time I see it. I love it. It's kind of modern and also traditional at the same time. This side of our bedroom had nothing there. I didn't know what to do to accommodate clients that visited me or maybe my kids who wanted to do homework while I was working. So I did a custom window seat and look all this great extra seating that I got. And then for the cushions, I went to Ballard Designs to their fabric by a yard and I got this wonderful iCat fabric that really makes this whole corner just sing. And then of course, different pillows, pairs of them all along. You don't want to go matchy-matchy on this. I really had fun with it, but I kept kind of a serious tone also so that it's a combination of whimsy here and also time to get work done feeling.